Hello, hello, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. Alright, so today we're going to make a snack. Let's make a fruity, nutty granola bar from scratch. Fruity, nutty granola bar. That's a tongue twister. Let me try that one more time. Fruity, nutty granola bar. Got it. Okay. So, if you like uh, the snack, please give it a thumbs up. If you think you like me, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you just want to get it out the way. Okay, check out the links below. And subscribe if this is your first time on my channel. I'm here working hard for you. Okay, alright, let's do it. Okay, so the main ingredients is quick oats. In other words, if you cooked it, it would be oatmeal. Quick oats, okay? So we have three cups of quick oats in this bowl here. Three cups, okay? Three cups. Alright, so now we want to add our other ingredients. We're going to add um, the flexseed. I want to add two tablespoons of flexseed. Let me get my tablespoon measure out and let me open this. If I can open it. Can't. So I'm just going to cut the bag. That'll get it open. Okay. That's what flax seeds look like. Flax seed. Flax seed. Okay. Oops. That's one. Two. Okay. A half of a um, teaspoon of cinnamon. We're going to put that in. And then we got a uh, cup of dried cranberries. I want to just mix this up first. All right, now I have one cup of dried cranberries. I'm going to put that in. And then we're going to put in a tablespoon of vanilla. Tablespoon of vanilla. And then we're going to add, uh, I have a Trex mix, T-R-E-X, Trex, no, T-R-E-K, Trek, can't say it, T-R-E-K mix. But what it is basically is everything. It's almonds, it's uh, peanuts, it's pumpkin seeds, it's cranberries, you name it, it's in here, okay? So, sunflower seeds, we're going to add that, and it has dried apples. This is a great, great um, mix if you want to try to get all the nutrition in one bag. And I paid $3.99 for the bag. So I'm going to start off with putting half the bag in. It is 11 ounces. I'm going to put 6 ounces in and see how that looks. Let me show you. Okay, I'm going to mix that in.
So what I'm looking to see is if I need to add more. I don't think I do because you can see where you've got a variety of color here, right? Okay. All right, so I will use uh, six ounces of Trek Mix, T-R-E-K Mix, okay? All right, so now I want to add my uh, butter. This is a stick of butter that I melted in the microwave on 40 seconds. So we're going to put this in and mix that up. That's half of the stick. I'm going to take baby steps. And I can clearly see that I could use the balance of the butter because all of it is not wet. That's how you tell. So I'm going to use the whole stick of butter. One stick of butter in. Give that a mix. Yep, it feels wet now. That's good. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands because we're going to add the honey now. And I would like to use a tool for the honey. One second. Okay, so I have a serving spoon. So here's the honey. So I, I'm not going to tell you how much honey because the honey is something that you're going to add until you see it all bind together, little at a time, okay? And that's how you're going to tell how much honey to put in. Okay, you can see the honey on the top there, right? So let's mix this together. Add more honey. As you see the oats stick into each other, that's how you'll know that you have enough honey. We're almost there because quite a bit of it is sticking. One more time. It is definitely sticking, but not 100%. So I want to go one more time with the honey. I definitely can feel it heavier on the spoon. So you see what I'm doing? I'm pushing down on it and mashing it together to get that honey to bind.
Okay, I would say everything is incorporated nicely now. I don't see any loose uh, oats anywhere. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna get my pan and we're gonna oil the bottom of the pan with olive oil and we're gonna try to make our bars. Give me a second. Okay, so what I thought about doing is I'm gonna fill each one of these up, well, one of these up as my measuring amount so that they all at least have the same amount. And then I'm gonna shape it into a bar, okay? Okay, I think I'll take it right to this first rim here. Okay, so it's in there now, right? You see? All right, so now I wanna pop it out. And I've got to now shape this into the shape of a box with my hand. So you see what I'm doing? I'm pushing it together so it looks like a like a candy bar. And I oiled my pan here with olive oil, okay? that's going to hold itself. I don't think so. See, so I'm doing trial and error right, right with you guys so that you can see that everything is not um, etched in stone, right? So we want to measure this. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a square shape. I just figured that out. We can have the shape of this container here. Okay, I'm gonna just sit it right down. And no, it didn't work with that either. Oh, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the the long shape again. You can definitely see that Grandma Ray never made these before, but I will try anything because until you try stuff, you just don't know. All right, do the second one. Pop it out. Get it into a long shape. Like a bar. Let me let you see that. Okay, now I gotta do another one.
Okay, so I have four bars here. Now, another thing you can do is, like you see it in the store, they don't make it into a bar. They just have it loose. So we're going to try both ways and see which one is successful. Okay, now we're going to bake both of the pans, put both of the pans in the oven on 350 degrees. And uh, what we're looking for is to see if we get a brown color on it and if it binds together. We'll see. Okay, I'll bring you back at that point. Okay, guys. So, our granola bars and our uh, granola that we just put in the pan is out. And let me show you that. And it also had in this track mix chocolate chips. Okay. So, that brought an interesting... Uh, component to the mix. So here's our bars. Wait a minute. Okay. And I'm sure if I let this sit long enough it will harden up more because the chocolate chips also help bind it together. Okay. We're going to call this our granola crumb. How about that? So now, I have to rename it, and we're going to name it Fruity Nutty Chocolate Granola Mix. How about that? Okay, or bar and mix. We'll see how that works out on the computer. Okay, so let me taste for you. That's the most important thing. Okay, before I taste it, let me give you the word of the day. The word of the day is, don't be afraid to try something new. You never know. It may come out pleasing to you. Don't be afraid to take your next step in life. You never know. It might pay off. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself. You never know what's inside of you. Go for it, would you? Don't be afraid to take a chance. Okay, so an example of that is I never made the granola bars or granola before, but I wanted to try it, and I wanted to try it with you. So I wasn't afraid of the outcome one way or the other because one thing we have to learn when we're cooking is cooking comes with experience. So the more you try stuff, the more you do, the more you cook, the more you learn, the better you'll get. Okay? Okay, so I want to take a taste. I have the granola crumb, I'm calling it. Wow. As I bite down, I can taste the chocolate chip. I can taste the cranberries. I can taste the crunchiness of the oats, the nuts. Mmm. Oh, wow. This is something that you can sit down and eat at TV, watching TV or whatever. It is wonderful. And then we have our bars that... Okay, 
I'm going to try to pick one up. Look at that, guys. It worked. How about that, huh? <laughs> cool. Well, I brought it home to you. You can try yours, and you can try it in many ways. You don't have to do what I did. You can uh, make your own shape or have it as crumbs or however you want to do it. The most important thing is you now have a healthy snack, a healthy snack, one that is definitely recommended. You have uh, your nuts, your grains, um, your fruit, your oats, wonderful. Okay, so until next time, I'm going to ask you, could you go ahead and give it a thumbs up right now? Because uh, I brought it to you. I know you're going to like it. And please comment and let me know how yours came out, would you please? Alright, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.